What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So more POE kind of reaction, deep diving stuff. I know there's a lot of information out there that a lot of people have seen, but we got to make sure that we report it on the channel. So for today, we are going to be checking out the Ranger, courtesy of Jonathan Rogers, taking a little bit more of a deep dive um, into this class and just kind of seeing what kind of possibilities there are and my thoughts on it um ranger was something that i played a lot of in poe one because it, well, it fit my play style a lot because from diablo i'm more of like the range type like demon hunter rogue you know kind of range type user uh none of the melee guys have really hit too hard for me but uh yeah so we're gonna see take a quick look at the ranger and see how it goes we'll talk about it guys so um, one of the first things we did... I mean, real quick before we get into this, I know a lot of people are kind of hating on the Rangers, you know, like, hey, if you're playing the Ranger, um, you know, in PoE 2, because it's been around and kind of like a staple, especially for leveling in Path of Exile 1, that's kind of a new, but for a lot of new players coming over to the game, I think it's going to be a per one of like the most perfect classes to play for people. But let's go ahead and dive in. We were um, developing the Ranger as we wanted to make sure that everything you do can be done while moving. Um, so this just makes the game feel a lot more fluid. So she's just a lot more mobile even from that. Um, but she also has a lot of vaulting skills that allow her to jump up. So the fact that you can continuously move while shooting is fantastic. One thing in POE 1 is it was kind of like you had to stop, activate your bow skill, and then you could then you could continue to move. So by the time you got to the end game, you were moving and killing things so fast, it seemed pretty seamless. But in this game, because it's much slower and being able to move, you know, uh, while shooting is going to be very good for, like, the, the the campaign, like, going through the process until you get to end, to end for example, game. For example, there's one there that, like, uh, freezes uh, monsters. She jumps up and she... You can jump over monsters and freeze them. That's um, so, so this cool. Kind of thing, um, allows you to very um, agile, very agile. Combat. Make sure you can get away from the monsters, which you need to do since um, you know. Classic lightning strike tanky. there. Look at that. That's so cool. Now, one of the things you might have noticed if you're a POE one player is the bottom left of the screen there. There's only two down flasks, here. Just a life and two a flask. Flask. We've actually changed how the flask system works in POE two very recently. Now you get one life and one mana flask. That's so that's much all. better, by the way. So much that better. We found that uh, there was a problem in POE one called flask piano, where everyone was just sitting there pressing one, two, three, five constantly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, the thing is, so um, we've actually found we've actually buffed uh, flasks significantly, so that each flask has a lot more charges. But that's um, good. The, uh, you only get one of each type. Now, one of the main things that people were doing... I like that. It's much simpler. They were using flasks because they had... Because I'll tell you this. From POE 1, you would have five different flasks. And until you got to the end game to be able to put a modifier on them that said, you know, drink the potion when it hits full, which basically means it's automatic. So when you build up charges for your potion, it's from killing monsters. So as you kill monsters, the potion gauge fills. And then when that modifier is on there, when it reaches fulls, it just uses it all or the charges, and then it builds back up as you're killing monsters, so you never actually have to press them. But until you get to the end game, like having to press all those buttons on top of your skills was just really annoying, and sometimes you would miss it and die, and or you run out of mana and die, you know? So it was just very, you know, just like whack-a-mole potion. So this is going to be much easier, I think. Had, um, other, they were using the other flask slots for uh, mostly things that were making them resistant to various element types and so on. Um, yeah, yeah. And so we wanted to have a system to allow that to still be the case. And these charms. These charms are going to add in. So these charms, as you can see, like from POE one, this is exactly how charms used to look. So this would, so charms. Imagine this. This was your potion. So your potion would say, "Grants immune to ignite." You know, use when become ignited, and then it has the, the the modifiers on it. So this used to be one single potion. So now they're just adding on to it, which is pretty cool. Optimization there. So I've added a new type of um, item called charms. Yeah. Charms is really up good using flask charges. So as you kill monsters and Ranger inherently is very flask dependent. It has an ascendancy that uses a lot of flasks. So to see how this is going to work with the charms and for the class is going to be pretty it unique, pretty unique to grant you immunity to certain things at the point when you get those things. So yeah, it's really here, cool. This is used when you become ignited. Yeah. And then grants immunity to ignite to manually trigger them. So it kind of solves that problem of having to manually. Um, yeah, you don't have to constantly. do it anymore. Uh, you get the ability to use more charms by adding higher level belts. Um, this is um, so the belts allow you, you to use charms as well. There, as you get um, uh, a bunch of uh, uh, bosses and random. Look at the map, man! Area. It just looks so uh, good. Where Octavian is right now, you can see that there's a boss um, called uh, Silver Black Blackfist, um, and that means that in this area there's something to. Oh, uh, so you uh, see the little skull? It's a boss. Them. So um, yeah, as I said, the bosses uh, often have uh, 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 things that you can use to um, increase your character power as well. So, so look at all the dodge stuff. rolling; it's so good. And that, I'm assuming that's the that's a lightning arrow. 
which is really oh see he just got whacked but look how agile the 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 ranger is right away like just right away just very agile can move very quickly can continuously move while shooting and use all these abilities to get out of the way like i think ranger is going to be a very top class in this game at least through early access until we can get the other classes but i think ranger is still going to be a pretty big staple for leveling i mean just look at all that mobility man i mean for them slowing this game down like the fact that you have all those dodge rolls and you're just moving around shooting makes this class very appealing especially for new players i like it man he's just destroying black this see you later dude get out of here bro so as you can see, he dropped a book of specialization. That's there. so this cool. Is one of the items. That's really, really nice, man. Like if we come over here, like you got like more ranger. So there's a lot more to try out. But by in game. Like, oh, uh, okay. There we go. I was going to say, is there? There we go. You got more ranger. While moving. Combined with all the skills the ranger yeah. has to allow you to jump around, you will have a lot of mobility in combat. It's just so cool. Like that, that, that the skill right there is sweet. Poison. All right, so let's take a look at the bow skills. So you have lightning and poison. Ice and physical attacks. And then you have ice and physical attacks they're talking about, which I'm assuming is like the detonating arrow. Rain of arrows is pretty physical. Ice shots, ice, obviously. Um, barrage is cool. Let's get our multi-shot rangers out there. But you can see that like there's a wide variety of different play styles that you want to go to toxic arrow was a huge one in poe one and lightning arrow is by far like one of the biggest staples for skills among the class of all time so to see some of these these ice builds coming together like i know there was ice stuff in poe one i'm not too familiar with it but um to see some of that i'd be curious to see how like a lot of that stuff would be with escape shot being ice i really like that skill it's really cool you can also stick lightning arrows in the ground which explode when hit by the bounces yeah it's so nice man enemies to take them out of combat like the ranger just looks really fun just really fluid to slow and freeze enemies to keep i like weight. that man using poison not only can you slowly oh check that star, out but also grow some interesting plants so you can grow some plants to do some additional poison damage and all the mobility and combo tools the ranger has you can take advantage of every situation it's so cool man I mean, um, I'm going to give a big shout out here to Moxie. Shout out to you, Moxie. Um, very cool guy. He does a deep dive here into a little bit more of the Ranger because he got to play it in early access at LA. So big shout out to him. Make sure to go check this whole video out. But he goes in and shows a lot of the like poison stuff here um, and just some more of the skills that really break some stuff down. Like, There's a lot of really good skills here for the Ranger. You just get to see like the poison aspect. Which is just really nice. I mean, look at that. Like, the ro the dodge rolling, it doesn't even seem like there's a cooldown on that, which is just fantastic, by the way. Um, but Poison looks so strong, man. Um, and then he goes into some bigger skills here. Uh, let's get through this stupid ad. Uh, big shout out to Moxie. I'll link this down, down in the description, guys. Um, but you got a lot of... I don't know why it's so blurry, but... Uh, fire an arrow to the arrow into the air that lands after a short delay, causing a plant to spring up and impact the location in grave. This was something else in POE one, but it's essentially the same. So it slows their movement and deals chaos damage, which is pretty insane um, for a poison build. It seems really, really good. Um, and then support skills can poison enemies an additional time. Um, and then the poison has 30% less duration, but it poisons them twice. And then you add on, then you add on if I can get it, uh, crud. But it seems like you could just swap back and forth between. I don't know which one I would be more excited about. Like poison, poison from supported skills adds 200% of damage per second to enemy as plague up to a 10% maximum of their life, which is just nuts, man. I mean, so you're poison, you plague them. I mean, it just seems really, really strong. Like, Poison seems really strong, especially in the early game against bosses for Ranger. Um, then you, like, look at this. I think that's multi-shot. Multi-shot Poison. Like, Ranger just seems so good. So, so good. Bear, you may be familiar yeah, he's just talking about it. In Path of Stores 6% of expected Poison damage and just deals it. So strong, guys. All right, but let's get into the play style. 
because he has some really good friend, thoughts here on I've the play style. I've played Monk now, and I've played uh, a lot of. Oh, Rangers, look at that move! And a big thing that Path of Exile Two is doing. Oh, look at that! Different uh, that may be a little bit unfamiliar. That's so cool. You really need to use multiple skills to take down enemies. Of yeah, yeah. So it's the combo aspect, right? So like you saw there with the Ranger, where like he's Fire slow Ranger moving. And so you use one skill to drop this stuff down, and then you're using your next skill to explode, and it causes the combo, which ends up destroying all the enemies, right? So PoE2 is going to be a lot of just combo-based skills, which is a good thing, uh, as opposed to, like, one button press just like, oh, let me fire Acid Rain, and then I just move on, right? So, like, um, there will be some one-button builds, um, Jonathan Rogers said, but it's very few and far between. So they want to focus on a lot of combos, which I think this is a good thing because the game is much slower. The mobs are essentially in the early game a little bit less, or it seems that way, but uh, the combos for setting stuff up seems really, really cool. It just As long as it feels very fluid, then it's going to be great. And because on Ranger you continuously move, it's super strong, man, super strong. But yeah, guys, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, when you take a look at the ascendancy for uh, um, Pathfinder, will both be. So you have Pathfinder, and Never you have. Um, After recording this video, uh, they did do a reveal of the ascensions. I didn't get to the ascensions in my time playing. Right. Um, but they revealed that Dead Eye and Pathfinder will both be available. Okay, so we're getting Dead Eye and Pathfinder on this. So Endless Munitions is back. Pathfinder is probably going to be reworked a little bit from Poe One. Because Pathfinder had all the, it dealt with all the tinctures and all the potions and stuff like that. But now that that's changed, I wonder how the rework is going to be like that. But Dead Eye is super strong, super faint, like probably one of the the main ascendancies because you get more um, uh, projectiles, so you just fire more arrows. You kind of focus more on like your ranged bow damage. Yep. Um, where you're going to be able to move. Tailwind is super good. Tailwind. Uh, which will increase your movement speed. I love uh, Tailwind. We've got some interesting passives like Eagle's Eye, which you have no Ooh, accuracy. Ooh, that's good. Distance. I like that. Um, I think this is going to be the ascension if you really want to go like focused into like more of your bow attacks and like lightning damage. And then Ooh, Pathfinder this seems cool. Is definitely going to be if you want to more focus on poison. Um, you've got uh, returning like poisonous concoction, uh, but as an ascension node. Uh, so okay, so there they kind of change Pathfinder to more poison type because of the potions. So you That's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Concoction, That's kind of nice. Like, there's another. Uh, the most damaging poison on enemies you kill is spread to other enemies. Um, uh, That's really good. That whenever you kill a poisoned enemy. That's so strong, man. Shout out to Mo uh, Moxie for sharing this information with everybody. But yeah, man, then you get to see I it. Just wanted to do a little. Yeah, dude, you get to see the fight. Look at all that poison damage stacking up. Ranger seems really, really fun, guys. So um, it's cool to see some of this information in here. I was originally going to play Ranger, but I think I'm 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 going to start Sorceress um, in the in Poe Two Early Access. So, but Ranger looks very, very good. So if you're new to Poe, then this is definitely a probably a really strong candidate for um, a class to pick as a new player. But yeah, guys, like the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like and comment, guys. Let me know what class that you're going to play or what do you guys think about the Ranger down in the comments below because that really helps me in the channel with the algorithm on YouTube. So like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you're new. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.